Hey, welcome back. We continue with groups. So if you haven't subscribed, of course, please subscribe to my channel and help me grow. And if you are able to support me on Patreon, there's a link in the description. Uh, please do that to help me make more videos like this. All right, so let's continue with our groups. So like I said, we want to create a new group here. And once we click that, we want to go to the create group page. So let's click that right there. So of course uh, the page is not found, but like I said, we are going to modify the sign up page to um, create what we need. Okay, so here's the sign up page right here. So I'm going to open the containing folder. Where are you, sign up page? Yes. Copy and paste that page and rename it to create underscore group. Uh -huh. And let's load that one up. Okay. So as you can see, the classes that we require here are connect and sign up, though I don't know why we're still using this uh, uh, outdated version here. I guess we didn't check. What we were supposed to do is include the auto load. So I will copy that. Go to, so you can change this as well in your sign up page. Just remove all these includes and put the auto load like that. Mm -hmm. So what we will do here is modify everything to suit our needs. So right now, if I go to uh, this page and refresh it, because now we've created our page, it will find it. And as you can see, it says uh, sign up to my book, which is not really what we wanted. So what I will do instead is I will go back to profile.php and where is the include here? One second, let me go down here. There's the include of header.php so that it should look more like our website and not like an outside sign up page, right? So what I will do is delete everything that I do not need here. So I will make a comparison and see um, where we're at. So it's just the body here and yep, that's about it. So I'll come back here to create group. So from the body tag, this is the large bar over here. Sign up to my book. This is all under here. So we will let that be. So I will replace everything here and paste like I saw. This way, if I refresh, it looks uh, more like, uh, no, it, it actually doesn't. So this is the thing here. Uh, if I come back to the profile page here, it's like uh, the styles, all these styles are supposed to be in the header, right? So this is a good reminder that uh, the header should have these styles over here. So what I will do is just copy them because it doesn't hurt to have repeated headers, but you can copy or cut them either way. It doesn't really matter. Let me go to my header but it will matter if you want to change them and you find that uh, they are not changing as you wish. So let's try and paste them here so we can delete them everywhere else when we get the chance. Okay, so there we go. And why do I have that still? Let me refresh here. Uh -huh, because I haven't logged out. So if I click on create group and then it brings me here. So we are definitely still missing some styles. Where are the missing styles? Okay. HTML, let me come back here a bit. Yeah, so we have that. So I will remove these styles from create group right there. Uh -huh. 
refresh the page. Oh, sorry about that. Wrong styles. I don't actually know why this is... Uh... Okay, <clears throat> we'll deal with styles later in a moment here. Give me one second here. Okay. So meanwhile, what I will do is change the title here to create group. I don't know why I'm getting lost in my own styling here. This is why uh, organizing things very well is very important. So you can avoid uh, running into problems like this. Anyway, doesn't matter here. We will fix this uh, later, this stuff at the top. Okay, so from here, what we want to do is let's change things like the sign up to my book. Of course, that one is supposed to be a create group. And of course, the thing we need to do next is to remove all these parameters we do not need. So the only thing we need is the uh, this one with first name. That's all we need. We don't need this uh, gender. And sign up, of course, is going to change to create. And then let's uh, just for the sake of some JavaScript vari val validation on the uh, front end, let's put auto. No, no, no. Yeah, I think we should put auto focus. And also let's put required like so. Okay, that should cover us for now. Mm -hmm. So instead of first name, we're going to say group name. Or we can just say group title. That's much better, I think. Eh, group name. People understand that better, so. Anyway, it's entirely up to you. So create group group name. Why does this lead to the login page? I have no idea. Anyway, I'll need to check on that to see why uh, this is happening at all. Yeah, and I've messed everything up because I have uh, added styles to my header there. Okay, maybe this was a bad idea. So what I will do is just uh, copy them. It's just one page anyway. So I should have organized this much better in the beginning than having to do this in the end. So my bad here, just remove all that. Then let's go back to the create group. And I am going to, well, I removed that from the header. So I'm going to add it uh, right here, like so. That way I don't disturb this. Okay, so back to my profile and groups, and I will say create group. Okay, and there we go. So we have one group here to create. I will fix this in a later video. Okay, anyway, now that we have that, we are going to go back to the top here. Oh. Before we go to the top, a little bit here, we will change the name. So instead of first name, we're going to have a group name. So let me just select the first here and just convert that to group like so. And the name itself, okay, that's group name. Great. So let's go to the top and do exactly the same. So <clears throat> I will say group name and I don't need any of these guys out here. So this is all good. And of course, uh, this will be turned to group like so. And then uh, once we are done, this is going to send us back to the profile page and it's supposed to send us to the groups so let's see that link right there this is the groups page so it's profile 
profile, our user ID, and then groups. So profile slash user ID. Okay, wait a second here. I want uh, to see what's in my session. I actually don't remember, so let me check for a second here. Uh -huh. Quite the stuff. Anyway, what I'm looking for is, yeah, some of these session variables are from a different uh, thing I was working on. So this is the one I'm looking for. Got you there. So I'm looking for my user ID. So I will say, I'll put a slash there and then concatenate my session ID like so. And then I will concatenate groups like so. And then, uh, yes, like that. This way we are taken back to this groups page once we are done. Okay. So let's now make sure that once we post something, uh, something will happen. So of course we have these, um, these classes here. So instead of the signup class, we want to create a group class. So group like so new group and then a new group, I think, we are going to copy that and say group evaluate. So I'm going to leave that evaluate there and kind of make it similar here. The following errors occurred and then we get a result so that everything is similar to what it was and we'll be good to go. All right, so that looks pretty good. Only thing remaining is to hit that create button and see what happens. But we'll do that in the next video.